That strange, eerie music the crew of Apollo 10 heard on the far side of the moon? It was real, but it wasn't much of a mystery. We're gonna unravel that one today on Vintage Space. This story has gone viral over the last few days because the Science Channel put up a clip of an episode from the TV series NASA's Unexplained Files that may be featuring yours truly that deals with this story. The show puts the eerie space music in light of a massive mystery and adds a conspiratorial tone saying that NASA did keep the Apollo 10 transcript classified for a number of years after the mission. So there is some truth to the story. The crew did hear a very strange, eerie sound on the far side of the moon. It was sort of like an eerie wooing sound. You want some more brownies? Now. That hit music even sounds outer spacey, doesn't it? You hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it sounds like, uh, you know, outer space type music. Hey, Tom. At the time that the crew heard this eerie space music, they were 102 hours and 12 minutes into the flight. At this point, the command module and the lunar module were separated, and the lunar module had already done its closest pass by the moon's surface, coming just 8.9 miles away from the moon. There were two big mission maneuvers coming up. First, the Lunar Module Ascent Stage Firing, which would simulate what a crew would do when leaving from the moon. Gene Cernan and Tom Stafford, the mission's commander in the Lunar Module, would fire the Ascent Stage, jettisoning the Descent Stage to simulate a lunar launch, or the, what a crew would do when lifting off from the moon's surface after a landing mission. Then, they would rendezvous and dock with John Young in the command module, just like a landing mission would. Apollo 10, remember, was the dress rehearsal for Apollo 11's attempted landing. So this is the first time in history that two spacecraft are flying independent of one another around the moon, and they're both using radio frequencies to talk to each other. And this is where the sound comes in. That sound, that eerie musical tone, is interference from the two radios. The crew wasn't exactly thrown by the sound, although they did all notice it and mention it to each other. But it didn't derail them from following the flight plan. They continued with their orbital photography of the moon and gearing up for the next few maneuvers of their flight. And it didn't exactly remain a mystery for very long either. Within 10 minutes of first mentioning the eerie music, John Young seems to have come up with the answer on his own. He mentions that it's probably just VHF frequency, VHF being the very high frequency radio. If you'd like to read what the crew actually said about the eerie music and how much it didn't derail them from their mission, go check out my latest blog post over on Vintage Space at Popular Science. I've got the related bit of the transcript in the latest article. So does that clear up the non-mystery of the music on Apollo 10? I hope so, but if you have more questions, leave them in the comment section below, as well as anything else you'd like to know more about and your ideas for future episodes. Be sure to follow me on Twitter for daily Vintage Space content, and with a new video going up every Friday, be sure to subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.